Number 10. Unique Style Einstein had his own sense of style, to say the least. Besides the uncombed hair and ragged look, he never wore socks. It didn't matter what event he was attending, which included the occasional trip to the White House. He claimed that socks would tear and become ripped too easily, and in general were an unnecessary hassle that he could do without. Very few remarks were made by Einstein himself on the subject, but this is what he had to say. When I was young, I found out that the big toe always ends up making a hole in the sock, so I stopped wearing them. Number 9. The Pocket Compass One day at the age of five, Einstein was in bed and sickly. In an effort to cheer him up, his father, Hermann, decided to show him his pocket compass. Young Einstein was mesmerized by this experience, and at that time, something lit up in his brain. For years, he would remember this experience and often wonder what force was exerted on the needle in order for it to point in various directions. This experience has been noted to be the beginning of his fascination with science and the world he lived in. Number 8. Deep Depression As part of Einstein's theory of relativity, he made the point that a large amount of energy could be released from a small amount of matter. He was well known for being a strict pacifist for the majority of his life, and didn't want to have anything to do with the creation of the atomic bomb. Upon hearing that his research was being used for evil purposes, Einstein went into a deep depressive state. It wasn't until years later that he finally accepted that the bomb could be used for good and not just evil. Much of his later life was spent giving seminars and fighting for peace. Number 7. Einstein's Publications Albert Einstein died on April 18, 1955, in Princeton, New Jersey, at the age of 76. He had lived a full life, publishing over 300 scientific papers and another 150 or so miscellaneous works. The cause of his death was abdominal aortic aneurysm, which could have been prolonged, but he chose not to undergo surgery and made this statement about it. I want to go when I want. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I have done my share. It is time to go. I will do it elegantly. Number 6. Marriage Contract During the course of his life, Einstein had two wives. He married Maleva Marvich, his first spouse, on January 6, 1903. Sometime after the marriage, he drew up a formal, almost legal contract for her to sign. He expected her to serve him three meals a day, to immediately stop talking if asked, and to expect no intimacy or love from him. The reason for the creation of this document was, if their relationship were to ever deteriorate, the two could remain together for the sake of their children and to keep them from bickering as much. This was to no avail. Several months later, his wife moved to Zurich. They would eventually divorce in 1919 having lived apart for roughly five years. Number 5. Learning Abilities Contrary to popular belief, Einstein did not have a learning disability. Around the age of 11, he was already skilled at playing the violin and received high marks in both Latin and Greek. He would continue playing this beautiful instrument into old age. Contrary to popular belief, Einstein did not struggle with math his parents actually believed his schooling was holding young Einstein back and purchased him more advanced books. By 15, he had already mastered calculus and other complex mathematical equations. The only flaw with Einstein's cognitive ability was a minor speech impediment he developed in early childhood, which would quickly wear off in his years as a young adult. It is true that he received bad grades in several classes, this due to the fact that he felt that they were rather useless and would often skip those courses altogether. Number 4. Einstein's Brain One week from the day Einstein died, an autopsy was performed on his body by Thomas Harvey at Princeton University. The physicist's brain was removed in hopes of studying it to unlock the reasoning behind his brilliance. The brain was no larger than normal, and because of the lack of interest in its outer shell, Harvey and his team dissected it into 240 individual pieces. 
It wasn't until 40 years later that the scientists found Einstein's partial lobe, a part of the brain that helps with three-dimensional reasoning and mathematical abilities, was 15% larger than the average person's living at that time. Einstein's brain is now on display at the National Museum of Health and Medicine in Silver Spring, Maryland. Number three, President of Israel. A few days after the first leader of Israel died, President Chaim Weizmann, Einstein was offered the position at age 73. He politely declined the offer, stating that he lacked the natural aptitude and the experience to deal with people. He also said that he was getting too old to properly execute a role in public office. This turned out to be true. He died three years later. Number two, smoking his pipe. Smoking turned out to be a daily activity for Einstein, especially during old age. He would often walk from his house to his study at Princeton. An onlooker would often see a trail of smoke in close pursuit of his moving figure. His image of wild hair and baggy clothes would not be complete without a briar pipe in his hand. One of his better-known quotes goes like this. I believe that pipe smoking contributes to a somewhat calm and objective judgment in all human affairs. Although Einstein favored pipes, he would never shy away from a cigarette or good cigar, no matter what the occasion may be. Number 1. Marrying His Cousin after his divorce in 1919, Einstein married his second wife, Elsa Lowenthal. Surprisingly enough, she was his cousin and was closely related to him on both sides of the family. The two had known each other since childhood and even played together on several occasions in that time period. Historians now know that Einstein had affairs with at least six other women and even had an illegitimate child from his first wife, which was kept secret. Researchers found references to a baby Mieva Marich in Einstein's journal. From what we know, it is believed that she had the child from another man while traveling. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.